Good day everyone, in this video I am going to share my experience of visiting the bush and wetlands of Kakadu National Park. I went to this amazing place with a couple of my Australian friends with a boat, fishing, hunting and camping accessories and we stayed two days camping in the bush, spending our days in fishing, hunting and bushwalking. Our journey started from last night and I am going to share our entire journey through this video. If you are watching this channel for the first time, consider subscribing to our channel and hit the bell icon to watch more like this. Kakadu National Park is one of the best Australian national parks in Northern Territory and it is nearly 170 kilometers away from Darwin City of Northern Territory. We started our journey around 7.30 in the night and reached the national park around 9.30. Down from the road, we still drove a few kilometers into the bush through the dirt road to reach our first camping spot. On our way, we collected some wood and tree trunks for our campfire. It was a fun experience to collect them in the dark with Rob and Jamie. After collecting enough firewoods and loaded them onto our boat, we resumed our journey towards the camping grounds. After 20 minutes of drive, we reached our camping grounds and started stacking the woods in the camping fire pit. The first and foremost priority of camping is fire. We made the campfire and kept it going well, throwing enough woods, trunks and dry leaves into it. It was a quiet and relaxing night. We planned our next day sitting around the fire and having beers and after some time we went to sleep. Next day, early in the morning, we started packing our things, put them in the boat and left to the river which was nearly like 5 minutes away from our camping spot. Rob Thompson, how are you going? Very well, mate. Very well, thank you. You ready for the day? Yeah, I'm ready for the day. 
Jamie Smith, how are you going? Good. Our boat was loaded with our fishing, camping and hunting accessories. We parked the car in our camping ground and got our boat into the river to take off to the next destination. We headed towards a secret spot in the boat where Jamie and Rob told me that we can catch a lot of fishes and camp near a very nice wetland area. It was a very beautiful morning and on our way I thoroughly enjoyed all the natural sceneries and beautiful sunrise through the wild trees. Actually there was no one else other than us in the river either. After a few minutes of traveling in the main stream of the river, we entered into a very narrow secret path which was hidden by the mangrove plants. On our way through this narrow creek, there were a lot of mangrove plants on both sides. Many plants and trees fell across our path and the water was shallow. We rode our boat very slowly and on our way we hit some woods which fell across the creek. It was very exciting, thrilling and interesting experience to go through that narrow creek. There's a wood here. Huh?
on here. After traveling through the narrow creek for some time, it led us to a wide river part again. From there, we started traveling a little bit faster towards our destination. Following the wide river with the clear water, we entered into a part of a river with some muddy water and then into a shallow and narrow creek. By the look of the river water, we realized that it was a place very rarely accessed by the humans and on our way through the narrow creek, we encountered a big obstacle to travel further. There were some trees and wood fell across our path and there was a situation where we couldn't go further through the creek. We stopped our boat, jumped on the river banks and started pulling the trees which fell across and tried to create some space to get our boat past those trees.
It was like 15 to 20 minutes hard work and we couldn't clear those big logs which fell across. It would have been easier and we would have traveled past if we had a chainsaw with us. Anyway, we decided to avoid that path and started traveling to find a new camping spot around that area. Luckily, without traveling so far, we have found a good spot nearby to set up our camp. After we went for a quick walk around and made sure the environment is safe, we started setting up our camp and other facilities. We finished our camp and facilities very quickly and after that Rob and Jamie started working on assembling the bow which we brought for hunting. Hunting in Australia requires a hunting license and there are designated places to hunt in Australia called as hunting reserves. If anyone without license or if you hunt anywhere else other than hunting reserves, it is illegal and punishable by law. It was a bit hard to assemble the bow, but anyhow, Rob and Jamie took some time and finally finished assembling the bow. What's that shit, Rob? It's just a dampener. Mm, just makes it quiet. We carried a wooden bow to hunt, and to reduce the shock produced when arrow is released from the bow, we also tied a couple of dampers up and down the bow. Hunter Robert Thompson, mm. give us a smile please. <laughs> there were three arrows with us for hunting. They were made of iron and had very sharp points. Very good tool to hunt any animal and they also had beautiful red color feathers at the back of them. After practicing the bow and arrow a couple of times, we started walking into the bush searching for any pigs to hunt. It was my first time walking into the bush for hunting. I felt very, very excited and interested on what's going to happen.
After a few minutes of walking from the camp, we reached a wetland area. As it was in the morning, we searched for any pigs or water buffaloes which could be there to drink water. But unfortunately, we couldn't find any animals around that wetland area, but there were plenty of birds flying around. Around the wetland area, we found some footprints of pigs and Rob said that there might be some pigs around here and we need to move slowly without making much noise. The wetland area was so beautiful and picturesque, no one else was there in that environment other than us only nature, animals and birds. After spending some time around the wetland area, we realized there were no pigs around that area and we started walking into the bush searching for them. Searching for pigs in the bush was fun. The continuity of our hunting journey and the other activities we have done in that bush area will be in our next video. This video is ending here and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up on this video and subscribe to our channel to watch more like this. I will see you all soon in our next video. Thanks for watching.